We are Sydney and Albert, worldwide travelers, artists, and content creators. In late 2019, we bought a van, converted it, and left our home in South Carolina with $8,000 in the bank and no real plans or ambitions. We crossed the country and back, skied all winter, visited 16 national parks, happy and free but draining our savings. We lasted a year, making it work by picking up side jobs on the road. We sold the van for a small profit and used the money to upgrade to a larger space. We spent four months building out a 36-foot schoolie at a relative's house while we figured out what we really wanted to do with our lives. Conveniently, once we finished our schoolie, we found jobs that seemed like a dream out in Arizona working for a van conversion company. We adopted a dog and prepared to set up a more stable life for ourselves. But everything fell apart with work a few months in, and our dog had developed an aggressive and untreatable form of cancer, and we lost him. We made the difficult decision to sell our bus and go back to South Carolina to collect ourselves and recover after it felt like our dream had failed. We worked for a while, recovered mentally and emotionally, and refilled our savings account. At the beginning of this year, 2023, we decided that travel was something that we are passionate about and believe makes the world a better place. Our mission is to show you that travel is accessible, affordable, and possible for everyone. When we first arrived in Bangkok, we tried to power through our jet lag and walk around. However, after about an hour and the intense heat mixed with a good bit of culture shock, we ended up sleeping for a total of 16 hours. After the much needed rest, we got back to it and decided to spend the day seeing some of the temples, followed by a walkthrough of some of the malls. The colors are amazing. And this thing, like, the camera, like, doesn't do it justice.
Oh, dude, I love just like how extravagant everything is. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna eat this? I don't know. What do you think? After taking a much needed break to cool down, we braved the heat yet again and toured Wat Arun on the other side of the river. Wat Po and Wat Arun are incredible sights to behold, offering a fascinating glimpse into the history of Thailand. Wat Po is the oldest temple in the city, older than Bangkok itself. It was built when Thailand was still Ayutthaya in the 17th century. As much as we love learning about history, we came to immerse ourselves in the modern culture as well. Mall culture, a dying form of entertainment in the US, is thriving here. There's no better example of this than the infamous Icon Siam, a 10-story mixed-use shopping complex featuring everything from designer brands, an indoor street food market, and an event center. Like stay in one of the icons I am. 